Okay, let's start with we have a CNG on fire. First off, perimeter, 80 to 100 feet around the whole vehicle, the whole vehicle. Yeah, and we especially want to um, really do something with CNG that 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 uh, the fire department is going to have a very difficult time doing, and that's not applying water directly to the CNG cylinders. The reason for that is there are pressure relief devices that are actually really close to the cylinder, and if you're wetting them, you can prevent them from going off. Preventing them from going off is going to cause the tanks to overpressurize, and they're going to blow. Right. And if the cylinder is not involved in the fire, then you can just do your normal operations, your normal car fire ops. But if the cylinders are exposed to fires, we want to allow those pressure reducing devices to activate and they're going to vent naturally. And once this process happens, it's going to take about two to five minutes uh, to to empty out, depending on the size of the tank. Well, that's not true. It's going to take two to five minutes of impingement before the tank heats up enough that it, it opens up the pressure relief device. The hazmat guys, quite frankly, they have the best training out there. Everybody says so. Tremendous courses, fantastic training.